There was a group of local producers that were interested in looking at this uh, remote monitoring or telemetry and so working with them we applied to uh, MLA and got some funding to put in place a, a really good demonstration here on Gilgoy Farms. Well it saves us actually physically coming and checking that there's issues with the trough. Um, we can program it to take a photo in the morning, one at lunchtime, one in the evening or whenever you want. So it's pretty simple, we've got the solar panel on the front. This is to stop the birds nesting, um, to try and keep that panel a bit cleaner. And then inside, solar panel charges a battery. This is the UHF aerial for the transmission. And then the camera is just plugged in through there. So what we have here is the storage system for Murga Ridge, one of the properties. So the little orange thing coming down into the tank, at the end of that is a, a sensor that comes up and down, float system and gives us our levels. The black cone box on there is a tipping bucket rain gauge, so we can get our rainfall figures on an hourly basis um, in 0.2 of a mil calibrations. So that's on there. Then the pipe coming down, the water pipe is into the flow meter down here, um, which gives us a flow going out of the tank. You can see the aerial on there, that beams back to a um, tower. So there's a modem within that system too, and that transmits the data that collects on UHF back into the 3G system. We're just dialing into the mainframe system in Melbourne um, and picking up the information from our system. So this setup here is our mobile pumping station, which we can move around to nine different pumping points within the system. Um, this is the controller unit for the motor which is a simple Yanmar diesel, um, electric start. The C2 unit receives and sends data as to whether it's running, whether there's issues with coolant, whether there's issues with oil pressure. It also receives a signal to start the pump and it also receives signals to stop the pump. So that all comes through the, the website in Melbourne. We don't have to control any of that, but we can set the levels as to when we want the pump to start and when we want the pump to switch off. It's either the phone or the iPad. For example, these are the photos taken this morning down at the trough, so we can see that it's full. That's a photo taken three hours ago, and we can go back and get the photo taken four hours ago. It's also got the status of the pump, um, why it's turned off, whether it's running, what RPM it's running at. We can start and stop the pump from here. without having to go out and do it. If there is a problem within the system, we'll get an SMS message. So the SMS message from the system to tell me that the tank levels are low. It makes it very simple. Wherever you are, you'll get a message if there's any issues. We really wanted to see, would this technology work in, in quite hilly country, which is like around here, in country that didn't have particularly good mobile phone service. Look, I think the first thing, this technology can work really well for people that spend a lot of time checking water points for their livestock. Because what it does, it can save a huge amount of time. You know, in this particular demonstration site and working with the Harvey family, we've worked out it saved more than a day a week for them uh, to, to be travelling around checking their water points. Well, the sums that we did um, initially with Mark, we had a payback figure. If we included um, our time and wear and tear in it of nine and a half months, um, the system was paid back. If we took our time out of it, I think the, re the payback time was about 16, 17 months. It's not just time, it's also the cost of running vehicles. And it's not just that, it's also the sleepability at night factor where they can be assured that uh, whatever paddock their, their stock are in, that the water is, is really good in that. There's a lot of different uh, brands on the market. A lot of the technology about is quite modular, so you can start with a very basic system that could be three, four grand. For people that can work iPads and smartphones, you'll be able to handle this technology reasonably well.